Hey, what's happening, everybody? Power Strike Jude here, coming at you today for Text Talking Shop. Um, let me start off by saying I hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And being that that's what I just said, you guys can probably tell we are now in January. Uh, January happens to be National Organization Month. So the dudes and I got together and we said, you know what, why not do some videos talking about tool storage? Um, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, give me a second. And... I'm going to start talking about how I store and utilize space in my box and the way I use, utilize that space for my wrenches. So let me turn this video around and I will talk to you guys about how I store my wrenches. All right, guys, check it out. Um, I do not have real handy right now uh, those triangular or, or pyramid style racks that looks that are similar to this. I think... Uh, in the series earlier, it was either Dave or, or Theo that showed, I think, what I think are called Hall's racks. Uh, these are just a couple of plastic racks that I got from SK. Um, you can kind of see the, the way they sit, but they hold pretty much any size wrench, any kind of wrench, because here's some thin wrenches, and they hold them perfectly in there. And then, you know, here's a lot thicker of a, double box in there and it fits in there perfectly as well holds it nice and tight um we've all seen the ones that are triangular and plastic kind of like the ones that Dave or Theo showed that they go up in profile those I've used in the past but they never worked really well for me I've never had a big you know professional box so I've always worked out of like a craftsman box so I've never had the space for those racks to work for me um, this one seems to work well for me because i'm able to put um, wrenches like this i've actually got a couple of them that i use you know i have these in my box just in the opposite direction on a different side uh and since they are a little bit taller i mean you've got a good look at if you can see my hand I can get up to about my knuckle underneath there. So wrenches that I don't use as much or a tool, not necessarily a wrench, any kind of tool that I don't use as much, I can kind of store if I position them right and keep them underneath these racks. So those actually kind of work out for me. In one of my wrench drawers, um, I'll show you the drawers, how I have them set up at the end of the video. If you guys all wait, or you can fast forward now, you can just get there. <laughs> Another um, way I like to utilize tools or storage or sometimes in the, the racks that they came in um, this is a cheap universal pittsburgh set from harbor freight but it came in a perfect little wrench rack um and i actually have metric and sae sets both of them and i just kind of keep them just like that in a spot in my box you guys will see that at the end uh doesn't take up a lot of space and it works for what i needed to do so sometimes you can think about that and you can keep exactly what you bought it in all i did was the tabs that they hang them from on the shelves i just cut those off and made that work in my box another way i did almost the same thing this time i didn't cut off the part that you hang is these are some double box um not they all they are double box in but they're offset wrenches that i got from harbor freight as well um i keep them exactly on the the rack that they came in, um, they works perfect for me. You'll see it in the, you'll see it later. Uh, so consider that sometimes, you know, the, the stuff that you bought them in, maybe, maybe that's what you're going to use. I've got some, this is a set of gear wrench, uh, combination, the little stubby combination wrenches. It's SAE and metric. It's in the blow moldy case that it came in. Now, like I said, I don't have real deep drawers you know i don't really care about this blow molded case it doesn't mean that much to me so i just cut the back of it off as you can see right there and it fits in my drawer now and it fits perfect just like that you know easy access easy wheezy japanesey um that's uh another thing that i've, that I've done now i'm showing you some of the ways that i store store uh my wrenches so the one thing I want to get to is my favorite way that I store my wrenches. And that 
is the wrenches that I use most. My everyday wrenches that I that I go to, I keep in this tray right here. This is a tray I got off of Amazon. I think it's called the Sorta Tool. Um, this is your standard SAE and metric set right here. SAE goes from three eighths to to three quarters, and the metric goes from ten to nineteen. These are all snap-on um, flank drive plus wrenches, except for the 13 16 which I have a craftsman here right now because snap on one got walked away with. <laughs> but look at that. That's, that's perfect. You know, the way I work, I keep this tray in the in a cart in, in my tool cart. Um in a small skinny drawer. And this is a very low profile tray. Uh, it keeps every single one of those wrenches easy access. It works for me. Um, you, can, you can put the smaller wrenches up here as well. I don't really use smaller wrenches that much. It's got a little couple couple of uh, storage compartments. This one's just miscellaneous crap. And this one's like all uh, adapters, quarter inch and three eighths adapters. Um, that tray isn't too, too old. Uh, I re it's not that old. I re recently got it, um, but I've had the same tray for a long time. Okay, it was sort of tool. So this is a sort of tool that I've had for a long time. Um, I've upgraded my wrenches, obviously, from when I first got this. I probably had mostly uh, Craftsman, Craftsman USA, but now I just keep. I got some Craftsman USA. I got some miscellaneous wrenches, Husky. Uh, some probably some other Chinese stuff, you know, but <laughs> I like this tray so much that when I got my upgraded for my snap on, I didn't want to get rid of it. I said, screw it. I'll just organize some of my, uh, you know, doubles or whatever. That way I, it, they, these wrenches are taking up less space in my box. And it's cool because now if I, if I need to loan something out, I'll probably go here first before I go here. Cause I don't want to loan out my snap on wrenches, but I actually kept the second tray. I initially got the black one to replace the the, the red one, which it did. But then I said, I like, why not just keep the keep the red one?" Um, but that that's one thing. Let let me show you. All right, give me a second. All right, guys, so check it out. This is a little Ares or Aries. I'm not sure exactly how you pronounce it. With a little uh, magnetic uh, wrench rack. I keep it on the top of the lid of my cart. Uh, I've got a set of gear wrench, uh, double box and zero offset ratcheting wrenches, and I've got some Mako uh, flex head ratcheting wrenches that I really like a lot. And they sit at the top of my box or my cart on the lid, uh, easy access. Uh, it's another way, another thing to think about when you guys are storing stuff, you know, magnets help a lot, you know, I'm trying to utilize some, some new magnetic trays for socket storage as well. Maybe I'll show you guys that if you want to see it, um, let me know, but, uh, this little rack, uh, this little holder works perfect on top of my cart. I told you guys I would show you the way I was talking about for my See, this is the wrench rack that sits in the small drawer. As you can see, it's not the wide drawer. It's the half drawer on my tool cart. Yeah, my tool cart's doing some, uh, getting changed around a little bit. <laughs> but as you can see also, you know, it's thin, it's not very thick. And that makes it easy for me to get my wrenches. What I need, I'm actually able to keep a few ratchets in the same drawer and I'm telling you guys space for me is important I don't know if I mentioned earlier earlier but you know I work out of my garage uh, my tool cart uh, bags uh, my DeWalt tough system 2.0 because I do a lot of mobile stuff at other shops on the weekends but uh, uh, spaces that are premium for me so let me go ahead and show you the drawers how I have them set up with my wrenches in my toolbox all right this is just my double bank craftsman box um, from the, 
okay hope you guys heard that <laughs> dropped the pry bar <laughs> oh well um that was pretty funny it didn't hit me i'm okay but this is the i showed you this set of the gear wrench uh, stubbies and here are the uh, um man double out the, the the offset uh wrenches the pittsburghs you know and they fit in one drawer perfectly and i kept them exactly like i told you guys i had them i was throwing next drawer up i've got the these two like i was showing you i've got some gear wrench uh ratcheting wrenches i've got some line wrenches underneath them exactly like i was telling you how you keep them and looks that all right here's those two racks i've got a that's just the tribus wrench or tribus however you say it wrench in the case that it came in then i just got something that do not have any kind of racks just stacked on top of each other <laughs> and then my last wrench drawer is my i've got some the rest of the gear wrench and then the sae set that i got from cornwell some more wrenches that are not organized very well this is organized pretty good i think this is the way i store my crow's feet wrenches and then my older wrenches and the older in the older rack that i was talking about all right guys so that concludes my tour of my how i store my wrenches um video is also getting close to being over uh thank you guys who watched till the end please uh check out text talking shop on instagram text uh, at text underscore talking underscore shop uh if you like our videos consider subscribing um if you have any comments as to how you store your tools in you know things that any of the guys missed or any 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 of us if we miss something that you guys think is a cool way to store uh to utilize space in a box or for tool storage just let us know um put it in the comments any any of our videos if you if you want to suggest a video or a series that we do also um feel free to put that in the comments as well we've already done one series based off of a suggestion suggestion from a viewer uh, we'd love to do another um Please check out all of our personal channels. I'm going to see, see if I can remember to put it in the description. But uh, there's Dave, one mechanic. There's Theo, Country Mile Garage. Um, well, Dave and Theo aren't part of the channel names. It's one mechanic. It's Country Mile Garage. It's Tool Demos. It's the Mad Brooker. It's Greasy Monkey. It's Kentucky Tech. It's Tech May. It's Anthony GM85. And then it's me, Power Stroke Jude. We are all part of Text Talking Shop. Um, if anybody ever would like to do a guest spot on a series that we're doing, um, feel free to message us on Instagram. And if it's a series that we're going to do and you have a good idea, shoot, we'd be happy to um, happy to have you. But that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and to ring that bell. Until next time, keep on keeping on. Power Stroke Jude for Text Talking Shop. Out.